Right, we're live, boys. <laughs> you're gonna have to hold that mic. Which side are you going on? <laughs> right, oh one minute. Gosh. Right, me little crispy boys. Hi. Welcome back, everybody. Now, you may be wondering why am I studying clean clothes, boys? And why is Lucy here? To be honest, I actually don't know why you're here. No, I don't know, because I live here. Oh, yeah, that's probably something to do I live with it. Here. <laughs> we're, now, we're doing what you guys wanted, because we are people pleasers. Now, you keep on saying we want more cleaner, so we've got the cleaner in for you. Lucy. Lucy. And you want a review of my new car. So you've got to guess what it is. Like, get it in the comments now. I mean, you've probably seen the thumbnail, so you probably already know what it is. So we're going to do a joint review on my new car, which is a Maserati 4.7 GTS Auto. It's a 2011 with the NC kit on. So that's it, really. So we're going to get straight into the review. You're gonna, you can drive it, you've drove it before anyway, haven't you? I'm gonna test, test in, so test gonna, in, one, two, three. No, you're gonna tap it. So Lucy's gonna drive it. <laughs> I'll drive it. And, uh, we're well, gonna, I already we're, do drive it. Yeah, we're just gonna talk about the car. Yeah. And why we, I chose that car. Right, we'll see you outside. What do you do? No, wait. Oh no, that one, isn't it? I'm gonna end oh, it. I'm gonna swipe. Swipe to see who's in the car. Hi everyone. This is the Maserati, Gran Turismo, by the way, since as James didn't say that. What do you think? <laughs> I did say it. No, you didn't. <laughs> right, so this car is very clean for the age and I managed to get a really good deal on it. That's why I bought it. But I have always really wanted one of these and I was looking for months, every night on eBay. Wasn't I on eBay every night? Yeah. And I was doing my research until I found this one. It's a full service history and it's done 40,000 miles. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's just overall very clean inside and out. So I'm going to quickly show you around it. Now, I have had it for a few weeks, really. I should have just done a review straight away, but I didn't really want to. I don't know, I don't know why. <laughs> so, I'll, I'll show you around it now. Can I do the little fun thing? Yeah. interior as you can see it's black with a uh, white stitching it's got the little Maserati uh, emblems in the headrests uh, it's got this one this model is the uh, MC sport line so it's got the carbon kit on which the paddles are all made out of carbon the door cards of carbon on the wing mirrors the side skirts the spoiler uh, it's got the little carbon front diffusers and rear which I'll show you so it looks nice you know someone's put a nice kit on it and uh, the interior also instead of either being quite bland plastic it's got the carbon again which just gives it a way more sporty feel and it's got the uh, I can never say it but the uh, Alcant not Alcante. Some headlining, it's not suede, it's like a, a different material, but it's, that's, that's quite an expensive add-on. So yeah, that's the interior. And I'll just show you the back seats, because it is actually a proper four-seater. So there's room, a lot of room for, you know, four people with comfort. Cup holders in the front and the rear. So yeah, right, we're gonna start it. Now, this isn't a cold start, by the way. Cold start has got a bit more choke, a bit more choke to it. Go on, start it. Whoa. What? Beautiful. Go on, give it a rev. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we like. <laughs> In fact, I'm going to take my mic off and put it to it. Give it another couple of revs. Another rev. One minute. I've won. That'll do. <laughs> right, Lucy. 
loose is going to start it up here now, boys. <laughs> beep, beep. <laughs> Look at the interior. It's comfy though, isn't it, them seats? It's so good. Very comfy. It's got all heated seats, electric seats. Gran Turismo S on the dash. That's the model it is. I forgot to say Gran Turismo. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. So yeah. I'm going to take it for a spin. Yeah, at least we're going to take it for a drive, boys. But it's very clean, the paintwork. And it's had all the uh, the black. These should all be chrome, all this. But it's been painted black professionally. All this has been painted black, black. The rear lights have been tinted. The, these back quarters are factory tinted. And these little side wing grills have been painted black. So it's, it's really clean. The wheels have been fully refurbed. It's full service history. Yeah. So yeah. All right, Lucy's gonna pop bonnet for you now. What size engine is it? 4.7 liters. Of? Pure cred. <laughs> no, pure muscle. Pure muscle. So, to be fair, a lot of the engine bay is covered with plastics. Now, it's not really the best look in the world, but when you actually look at it, the engine, the front of the engine is actually here, which is very, very close to the middle of the strut. Like the, the middle, in fact, it probably is in line with the middle of your, with your front wheels. So the engine sat really far back which is quite good, instead of being, it's really well balanced. Right, I'll shut it. So yeah, but it's hot today, that's why the fan's going. So, right, I'm gonna go I'm gonna take shopping. it out. Beep, beep. Right, we're gonna take it out, my crisps. Go get some holiday clothes. I'll get my sunglasses on. We're gonna take it out for a spin and we'll give you a review on the road. See you in a bit, boys. Bye. Felicia. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. <laughs> right, my crispy little boys. It took us about 20 minutes to set the camera up. <laughs> I do hope it's not too wobbly. Uh, but yeah, we should be all right. Now, well, I've never really done a review on a car before, so I don't really know what to do. <laughs> but I'll just basically talk you through the car. Now, this has got the 4.7 engine in it, and this model does also come in a 4.2. And when I was looking into it, a lot of people did... Do you want to pop your back? Go on, go a lot on, of people on. did say to get the 4.7, it just had a bit more oomph about it. <laughs> and uh, so I did, I got the 4.7. Now this, this engine is very similar to the Ferrari engine. Uh, well, it is the same engine. They just tuned it slightly different. The Ferraris are slightly a bit more power. So it's like, I think the, uh, they must just have it a bit more torn down in this model. But I mean, this, this spec is 450 brake horse. And this one, for, I'll put the windows up so it's not as loud. And this one that I've bought has got a stainless steel X pipes on it, cat back. So that's actually, it's a bit less restricted and it gives it a little bit more power. So this is probably about 470 brake horse. Uh, it's fully automatic. I haven't gone for the MC shift model, I've gone for the auto. Now, I was a little bit iffy about that because the MC shift gearbox is basically the F1 gearbox where it's situated on the back axle and it's a completely different setup where this gearbox, which I've got, is the fully auto, like a normal automatic gearbox on a torque converter. So I was a little bit like, oh, it's just not gonna feel as responsive, but it really is just as responsive. Like, you, you would never even tell. I think it's, you'd only notice when it's, uh, you know, when you rag it around the racetrack, but I'm not doing that. So, yeah, comfort-wise, I'm driving around in comfort now, fully auto, it's nice and smooth, easy to drive, and it's comfy as well, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, note to six day is, I think about 4.6 seconds. Is it? Yeah, the MC shift one is, slightly faster because the gear changes to just that little bit more. What's the MC stand for? Uh, MC I don't shift. have a clue. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a clue. But uh, yeah, so drive-wise, it's really sharp, really responsive. It looks the part and it, it sounds the part. Now, it is fast, but it's not the fastest thing in the world, in my opinion. I mean, no. it, it depends what you call fast. I mean, it is fast. It's like, it's faster than most cars. 
But you start getting your big AMGs at 600 brake, like your M5s, and you probably struggle keeping up with some of them. But if you're gonna buy one of these, you're not buying it for the the speed, you're buying it for the looks and the sound. Going that lane, so yeah, these that lane. So, I mean, I don't really know what more to say. I mean, it's just a good sounding car, isn't it? But It looks good. Yeah. Oh yeah, obviously it looks good. And it does sound good. I'll just overtake this guy. <laughs> but, uh, right, we're back after the battery died. Now, uh, what I'm gonna do for you, now to put this in sport mode, because it, it does have the paddle shift. It's got these big paddles here. So, to put it in sport mode, all you basically do, I'm gonna show you now actually. Right, so we're cruising at 70 now, we're in comfort mode, and it's comfy, not too loud. Now, a there's a button here, it's called open hell's doors. If you press this, it goes into sport mode. So we press that. Now we're, oh see, it all instantly just changed the exhaust note. And then you go into manual. So now we're in paddle shift, so, it already sounds different. If I drop a few gears, and then I'm ready to put my foot down, let's just wait for this car to overtake, and then we'll put foot down. So much more responsive. See what I mean? Look at that. It's, it's a totally different car when you put it in sport mode with the paddle shift. It just comes alive, which that's what I do really like about this car got the best of both worlds. I mean, it, it, this should probably go all the way to 180 miles an hour, I would have thought, you know, if you if you unlimited it. But it, they are limited at one, 150 or 155, I think. But uh, yeah, I mean, so far, I mean, I've been really enjoying it. And it, the looks it gets are second to none. Oh, ST, should we race him? <laughs> Woohoo! Down here. Oh, he was having none of it, were he? Right, so, we're gonna carry on with the review when we get to our destination in an underground car park. So we'll see you there. Right, we're at uh, where we're actually going. We're going, uh, doing a bit of shopping. And it's an underground car park. So, these always sound super creamy under here. Have you got your mic on? Get your mic uh, out the window, go on. I think I've got it on. Yeah, hold it out the window. Is it turned on? Yeah. So this should sound pretty meaty under here, boys. Oh. <laughs> no, it does sound like that. I think she said noisy git, didn't she? I don't know. Can we I get it up a bit so we can see? God, that sounds good. <laughs> Where should we park? Oh, look at these little electric boys. Oh, yeah. These are these are diesel haters. Looks like we're gonna have to go quite high, aren't we? Right, we made it. Lucy wants to go shopping. Oh, a bath, boys. Right, so it's uh, this is parked up now in the underground car. But do you want to give it a few revs? Go on. Just gonna let you know what it looks sounds like under here. Look how close it is. Go on, one more. Right, that'll do. Why are you smiling? She's smiling because we're going shopping. No. Right, so we're uh, just gonna quickly do a little bit of shopping. And we'll finish this video off later on, boys. Right. Um, we've just done that bit of shopping. <laughs> so we're going to carry on. You're not sure. I don't know whether they'll hear you. We're going to carry on with the review, my little crispy boys. Well, this is that comfy. I nearly fell asleep. Right, are you ready for this cold start? <laughs> right, I'll meet you over there. Okay. The little boy wants me to walk over here whilst he does a little drive around. <laughs> and then he's gonna pick me up for some random reason. He just wants to show off in the car park whilst we're here. 
So I'm here with the little Micon, walking in the middle of a car park in Bury. Not looking freaky at all. <laughs> here he goes. <laughs> so noisy under this. Right. Let's see where he is. Turn around. Now, there's only one slight problem, what we've got. What's the problem? Uh, <laughs> I didn't have go. a front number plate on my car. Oh, yeah, so I've we been, don't know whether we're going to be able I've to get out. I've been too lazy to put it on. And I, I do genuinely believe it looks a lot smarter with no front number plate. But I do need to do that. But the car park hasn't registered my car. <laughs> so, in my eyes, it said you're welcome to leave and I haven't paid. So, I'm very happy about that. <laughs> that sounds good, that. <laughs> uh, I haven't paid for the parking, so I've got a feeling it's going to be have hard work. But have well, you paid? No, I haven't paid. <laughs> have you paid? No, I've tried telling the guy I've not paid. <laughs> right. Right, like, this ain't going to work. Let's Just see. see it. <laughs> Please. Oh, it's saying thank you. What? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Right, we need to do that more mate. often. Let's get out of here. <laughs> yes, that I've just saved £2.50, mate. <laughs> the like gear the changes are so much better. Are you on the little flappy paddle? Yeah, I'm on paddle shift now. Uh, but obviously, I can't really open it up too much on these roads because you've got to be careful, and obviously, we don't condole speeding around here. So, but in the paddle shift, it's so much more responsive. It's a completely different car. <laughs> that's that's all I can really say to you. So we're going to find some uh, some country roads, I think. And yeah. uh, we was supposed to watch Elvis, by the way. I'm gutted. Cinema was booked. Yeah. Fully right. booked. So we're going we'll tomorrow next time. Right. So we'll see you on the top roads. Meet Bye. Bye, <laughs> Felicia. I should be watching Elvis now. <laughs> right, me crispy runes. We're at a top secret location. Secret location. And we're going to do a quick 0 to 60 test. Now, do you want to drive with me? It's up to you. Do you want to flip a coin? <laughs> I think we'll do one each. We'll do one. See, see who gets the best time. So, I'm going to just set this up now of me setting off on a couple of little sprints and then we'll uh, see how we get on, yeah? In fact, yeah, best get my safety belt on. <laughs> Just remember he's driving, right, boys? It's a sad off. I'm a good this, driver. this could be my last farewell. <laughs> Wait, hold it. So this, it was nice knowing you all, and like I said, I mean, really appreciated the is feedback. This guy, recently. this guy wants a race. He wants a race, does he? <laughs> Wait, no, you're gonna do a not sixty. So stop. Yeah, but I want it in sport mode. Yeah, that's why we need to stop and put it in. Right, so. Like I said, now it's knowing you all. Is that in sport mode Lucy's now? doing a note to 60. Oh, <laughs> well, I don't want to say on that. On a sport. Right. Is that sport? No, you just turned it off. Right, you're in manual now, so you're doing your paddles. Yeah, yeah. This right, this one's for you boys, because this is what, whoa. Shit! <laughs> you changed gear well early there. Right, I nearly brought my net then. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Don't you can't get the staff boys. You can? This, that was my practice run. I that hope so. That reverse. Or do you have to put it back in Go automatic? Go back in auto. That's annoying. 
Well, you might as well do it from here. Yeah, I will. Yeah, so just, just... Are we still in school? Yeah, so... You can let it live a bit more. To where? To like 6,000. You're scared of putting your foot down. Well, yeah, it's practising. <laughs> I'm on a little industrial estate. If I was on the motorway, it'd be fine. Right, I'm going to give you one more do. Right. You're in second gear. Oh, you just flashed high beam then. <laughs> See, I think she must have thought the indicator stop was one of the panels. <laughs> sure. Right, right one minute, this is the ultimate. Oh. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> I think he did want to race him. Seen it. Can I get one of them? Right. Oh, there's another car. Wow! Well, I think it's like boy racer crew around here. <laughs> right, take it. She, she's changing gears at like 5,000 revs. When you're in sport mode, Where, it'll, yeah, what it'll, kind rev, of revs? it'll rev to whatever, just rev till there's nothing left. No, that's not healthy. Listen, this ain't <laughs> healthy. Right, this is your last do. One and a two and a one, two. Oh, hey! <laughs> right, now, that's a key you put down. And now, whoa! <laughs> right. <laughs> right, that'll do, that'll that do, mate. You gotta give her that. that. She did was it, good. she did it. Third time looking. Right. Pigeon. Just so everybody does know, that was a private industrial estate and we don't always drive like that. Wink, wink. Oh, I mean, we don't. No, I don't. God, it is quick. Yeah, I know. So go on, put your window up and give us a review whilst, we, whilst you're driving. Tell me what you're thinking about the car. What are your thoughts? It's good. It's the car. Is it nice? It's got four wheels. It's fast. It's got four big wheels. I do like the wheels. What about the paddle shift? Yeah, this is me. Why are you nervous? Why? Because you you're driving. <laughs> That's why I'm nervous. Are you shaking? I don't get scared. Yeah, you do. Right. I don't know what happened to the stand, but it stayed open. <laughs> right. We're going to get on some little country lanes, boys. I'll see you there, my super creams. I'll give you a race. Meet us there. Go on, do something to funny. Beep beep. <laughs> So we're on some, some back lanes now. As you can see, them gear changes are instant. And it's, uh, the car, I'll put these windows up. The car really comes into its own right on these sort of roads. It's more, in sport mode, it's way more responsive. And it's just like sharp. All the ball joints feel really tight. You can feel the road. And uh, yeah, no, it's just a completely different car from comfort to sport. So it really, it really is like best of both worlds. I mean, I wouldn't mind having this in sport mode, uh, comfort mode, sorry, and driving 200 miles down to London because it's comfy in fully auto. Or if you want to give it a bit over some of these back roads, you just drop a few gears and just drive. And you can really feel the road, every little stone, every little bump, every corner, you can control it really well. And uh, these have also got uh, adaptive suspension as well, which, which is quite good, because it, it just assists on the corners. Uh, it's, a, it's called Maserati Stability Program, M MSP. But you can turn that off, it's, it's also traction as well. But even with traction control off, it does put the power down really well. But uh, yeah, I mean, just a good overall car. So yeah, for a driver's car, I would definitely rate it quite high. And uh, looks, it definitely looks the part and it definitely sounds the part. Now, for the money, if, you, if you're looking into this sort of market of car, there's a lot of other options you can go down. I mean, you can get like your, your big AMGs, SLs and, your Porsches, but for the money, this is definitely the most car for the money. And I do genuinely believe it's one of the best looking ones. 
like for the Porsches, I mean, you start getting to like your 25, your 30 thousands, you, you're looking at like an old five plate or six plate 911 turbo and they're really outdated inside and they're not really, probably same sort of speed as well. So, I mean, in a way it's a good thing because Porsches really hold the value, whereas this car would have probably probably been close to a hundred thousand pounds new in uh, 2011 you can probably pick one of these up for between 25 and 35 depending on mileage so you definitely get more car for your money so yeah I mean I don't really know what more to say but I like it and that's the main thing and I hope you guys like it Ooh. I think that's pretty much ticked everything off there so I'm just gonna keep enjoying it. I'll see you soon. <laughs> right, my little crispy boys, we're gonna end this video now. And uh, really, we hope you enjoyed this video. Yeah. And we, this is something a little bit different. We don't normally, well, on the channel, we don't normally post like anything not related with the yard. So I'm, let, I'm not usually. Yeah, and Lucy's either. never really in the video. <laughs> so this is kind of a bit more home life video. So let us know your thoughts, whether you want to see more sort of videos like this or or not. They might not be working, so yeah. This was like a one-off though, wasn't it, with the car? Yeah, so yeah. we've showed you the car, showed you what we think. So we're going to use, I'm just going to use this for a bit and see how we get on. Doesn't so really I'm need I'm much. Right. Lucy might nick it now and again. <laughs> you do like it, don't you? Yeah, I do. It is a good car. So you need to get a bit better with the gear changes though. Well, practice makes perfect. It does, it? it does, yeah. So we'll see see how we get on, yeah. So thanks for watching. Thank Sub you. Subscribe, boys. Don't forget to subscribe. Enjoy, like Marky Boy would say, and get involved. <laughs> get it in the comments if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. See you later. <laughs> see you on Saturday. Oh, <laughs> when you're cleaning. Yes, you'll be on Saturday as well, boys. Yeah.